Hello guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Alice and today I just want to share with you a quick journal with me video that I did this week. Um, I'm just using a few bits and pieces of paper that I'm gluing down with a tape roller and um, it's just a little bit more convenient since the paper lies flat and you don't have that weird wet and wonky kind of style. I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, anyway, I'm actually journaling about a new menstrual cup that I bought and I just wanted to try it out and it's actually really nice and if you haven't heard of menstrual cups, maybe check it out. It's a nice way to, I don't know, it's just a reusable menstrual product and it's really nice. Also, I lost a little bit of footage actually, so I can't show you how I made this little craft envelope, but if you are interested in that, I could make another video, so just let me know. Um, I actually did this because I have a few, <laughs> I have a few um, private things that I want to write about, and since I do show my journals on YouTube and Instagram, this way I can have some privacy, and yeah, I just slip a little note in there so nobody can read my stuff. On this page, oh well, this page is actually made another day and um, I did the pencil outline beforehand so you don't have to watch me do this for 20 minutes and it's just a little bit easier to film. Our family is actually planning to buy a new car because our old one is a little bit too small and too cramped for us and so that's what I want to journal about and I actually didn't realize that I used the wrong pen because usually I only write with my uniball and all sketches are done with the microns. But luckily the uniballs are waterproof anyway so it doesn't matter as long as they dry properly. Again as you can see I do my heathers and um, moving on to the girl. I will be spending a little bit more time on her because I wanted to pay a little bit more attention to her skin and just not make her too orangey. I do have that tendency where I mix the wrong colors and then her skin tends to be very orange and very bright and just a little bit too unnatural. But the nice thing about the Midori paper with watercolors is that the water actually sits a little bit on top of the of the paper. Sorry, and this way if you make a mistake or if the colors may be too harsh, you can actually dab it away with a little bit of tissue paper. You just need to be quick because since um, when the colors are dry you can't lift it like you can with watercolor paper but most of the time my sketches are rather small so you work quite quickly so there's no problem with that. Um, yeah and I really like this effect that I did here because since the colors are still wet you can actually mix two colors together and they will bleed together and it's just a really nice and soft look and that's what I was going for on this spread. I wanted a really nice pink and a very soft and warm kind of spring feeling I guess and um, yes that's what we're going with. I did have a little bit of trouble with the hair because I still don't know how to draw hair. I always have this really flat kind of feeling because I don't know how to do the strands without them doing Looking very messy and just wrong, I guess. Um, yeah, but what's very really important is that you should definitely let your colors dry before working on them again because beforehand you could see that the pink of the lips kind of bled into the rose, but that's okay because both things are pink. But if they weren't both pink, it would be quite, I don't know, messy. <laughs> so be careful of that. Um, I will zoom out again because I wanted you to see the whole page and since I don't do anything very detailed or small I don't think it would matter um, but if you do prefer the close-ups let me know <laughs> and I will try to stick to that and also if you um, if the voiceovers may be awkward for you or if you prefer music I'm not sure I'm still trying some things out and just different filming angles and different, um, I don't know, just different filming styles. So let me know what you prefer. 
Uh, yeah, we're actually kind of at the end. I'm just doing a little bit of more writing that I want to get done since I had to catch up on editing. And um, I think I think we're actually almost at the end. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and that you like these kind of journal with me videos. Um, I will be showing you more of these if you're interested. Uh, but they take a little bit longer since I usually my journal entries are half a page maybe. I don't take that much space, so I can't show it that often. But follow me on Instagram if you still want to see a few snippets and just a few peeks. And yeah, this is the whole layout. I really like how it turned out. It has a really nice pink feeling to it. And I also hope that you enjoy it as much as I did filming it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.